welcome back. It could be one of the biggest archaeological finds of its kind, and they found it entirely by mistake. Just outside of Bodo, they're searching for our links to the past. It's an extremely large area. The site was accidentally discovered by an oil and gas dig in 1995. At almost two square kilometers, it's possibly one of the biggest in Alberta. Most sites, archaeological sites in Alberta, are usually measured in terms of meters. So you might have a, a TP ring that might be six meters in diameter. And the Bodo archaeological site is actually measured in terms of kilometers. Beginning in 2002, the University of Alberta started holding their field school at the site giving their students a real-world glimpse into the life of an archaeologist. And it was an incredible opportunity for the students to actually have um, hands-on teaching experience rather than um, the classroom experience. They kind of got a feel for archaeology and living outdoors and having to get through weather and um, have the lab here and everything. The fact that you actually see a dig site being uncovered, seeing the, the artifacts laying right on the surface, is, is really amazing. In recent years, a new centre has been opened up to facilitate both school tours and tourists. It's a lot of fun. You get the oohs, the ahs, and the, oh, is that ever cool? And, and then they, they just learn, they absorb, and, and just from what they pick up from the video and being out in the dig site, and then they hit the lab and they're like, oh, I saw that, and they know what it is. And I think the fact that they think they know it is really cool. The site was thought to be the hunting grounds for several different Aboriginal groups, which means there are a number of hunting tools and bison bones being discovered every year. In addition to the pottery, which is considered rare for Alberta. Here at the Bodo site, we're finding thousands of fragments of pottery, and a lot of them are really nicely decorated, which to us tells us that um, the Cinnaboyne, who are more commonly in the Saskatchewan area, were actually coming here and hunting as well. Even more astonishing is how long experts predict it will take to uncover all that is hidden beneath the ground. 50 years, 20 years, I don't know. We've, we have been here with the field school for eight years and we're really just barely scraping the surface in terms of understanding how the site was used and who was here. Well, that's about all the time we have for this week. If you have a comment or a question about the show, feel free to email us at aroundtheregion at newcap.ca. And as always, head over to newcaptv.com for more information. I'm Daniel Berry, and we'll see you next week on Around the Region.